Hi, RPD here. Considering that, until now, Tupen1 Hand had no established tricks nor tutorials, most spinners try to search for new tricks by putting together two regular one pen one hand tricks. So in this way, tricks in which one pen does an around and the other pen does something else became a relatively straightforward way of finding new interesting mechanics. In this video, I would like to do a review of the two pen one hand arounds that spinners have found during the last 15 years. And I think that except for a few very hard tricks by Isaac, uh, most intermediate and advanced spinners shouldn't have much trouble doing most of the tricks in this video. And given a bit of practice, uh, they are a great way of getting used to spinning two pens at the same time. Pashas is a Korean spinner who was active during 2005 and 2006. He was one of the Korean pioneers of the discipline. And this clip from his solo video made rounds around the pen spinning world. Kipple, nowadays known as Flow, copied this combo in 2009. Here we can see the tricks more clearly. Let's focus on the mod ampering from the thumb flop charge at the beginning of the combo. To do it, hold the two mods between the thumb and index finger below the center of pen. Notice how one is closer to the thumb flap than the other. After completing one full rotation of the thumb flap charge, let go of the furthest pen so that it starts rotating around the pen and then around the thumb. This idea can be taken to higher difficulty levels, as Isaac showcased in his 2020 solo by combining a backfall and a finger pass. The base mechanics are the same. You first amper the mods, then the furthest pen, in this case the white pen, goes around the other one. After you catch the pens, you do a pert pass and then repeat the process. The pen bust is a trick in which one pen is used statically as if it were a finger and the other pen goes around it as if it were a bust. The first one was done by Firefox in his World Cup 2010 round 5 submission. This trick also made waves in the pen spinning world. Shortly after Firefox discovered it, the French spinner Golem Skate did it as a finisher of one of his two pen one hand combos. Isaac then got the world record with five pen busts on video. There was a small record battle between Firefox and Isaac. In 2011, Firefox did nine pen busts. Then, one year later, Isaac took back the record by recording 12 pen busts. In his 10 year solo, Isaac experimented with the height the moving mod was being thrown at. The higher the mod goes, the higher the difficulty, as it becomes harder to control on the way back. As you may have guessed, Isaac is a master of this trick and will be able to explain how to do it way better than I. So I asked him, and this is what he said. First, use a center of pen marker on the pen doing the busts, happy to be from 24 to 25 centimeters. And rather than doing much upwards force, you move the held pen, the static pen, in very small circles. He isn't sure if it's a circle or not, but it has minimal upwards force applied to the moving pen. This is probably because of what I said earlier, the, the higher the pen goes, the, the harder the trick becomes. In theory, it may even help if you straight up put pen grips on the held pen. Um, he hasn't tried this, but it may help or it may not. I'm not good at this trick at all. I can do at most two with my regular mods and <laughs> even then it's it's very hard for me. If I use a very grippy mod, so for example, I can use my um, uh, my Odyssey mod or a Dr. Grip. Uh, this has its whole body covered in pen grips. So then it becomes way easier. Uh, I can even use a longer mod like this. And then this makes the trick <laughs> a bit easier to do. Uh, you don't need to use something like this if you have a doctor grip at home. Uh, this is not useful for a combo, but at least for practice, uh, you can still <laughs> do a few of them with it. I think it's a good tool for practicing this trick in case that you become frustrated with regular mods. And then there's a much harder variation of this trick, which are the palm down pen arounds or fishings. Isaac first showed this idea in 2020, and at the moment I believe he is the only one who has ever known these tricks. It was Gollum Skate the first spinner to do, in a 2017 concept video, a thumb around plus a palm spin. This is a similar idea to one of the tricks that I did in my 2022 pen spinning Olympics combo, a thumb around plus a pass ref. To do it, hold one pen between thumb, index and middle fingers and the other between the middle and ring fingers. As the 2-3 pen is being pushed to do a thumb around, the T1-2 pen just falls into position. Actually more than a pass reverse, this is kind of like a half middle around because you don't really push the pen downwards, it just you just lift the index finger and the pen falls into position. For this, of course, the center of the pen has to be outside of the fingers. This trick can also be done in reverse, which makes it harder. 
I found that a good way to practice this trick is to first do the normal version and then do the reverse immediately after, since that way the mods are already correctly positioned. Chris Wea did another variation, thumb around reverse plus pass reverse in 2022. He also modified thumb around reverse plus pass reverse with a tap and a hand orientation change to give it a completely different visual effect. The pen background or pen back is one of the first two pen one hand tricks to ever been discovered. In Pasha's combo we can see him doing a counter pen back. The background is interrupted halfway with a change of direction. A basic pen back is very easy. You can try for example holding one pen in T12 and then doing a middle index back from 2-3. The moving pen will naturally go around the static pen. The starter of my Pen Spinning Olympics 2020 combo is a double pen back. The mechanics of this trick are very similar to a continuous back around. You do one back around, and then right before the catch, you slide the finger past the center of pen so that it becomes correctly positioned for doing another back around. This slide is crucial to executing the trick. For a double or continuous pen back, you first do one pen back and then move the static pen past the center of pen of the moving pen. Then you can do another back. The moving pen is almost always in contact with the hand. In 2021, Yiras did a cool variation of the pen back, linking it from a neo back. It reminds me of Neo Sub at 4 Japan One Hand. In 2016, Fizz filmed this clip which became one of the most iconic 2 pen one hand linkages and one that I think every spinner should try to learn to become better at 2 pen one hand. After a fingerless thumb around reverse, the pen keeps rolling around the hand and afterwards, the mod. When it completes one rotation around the static mod, a pinky back is done. I have been told by Isaac that he did this trick with two rotations around the static mod in 2018, but there's no video of that. The fist trick is a great linkage to practice pen arounds and how to move the static pen skillfully in a way that transfers very well into more advanced tricks. Inspired by the fist trick, I tried to find other tricks in which the pen first went around one half of the mod, then around the other. In August of 2020, I realized that you could do an extended thumb around with a mod static in thumb 1-2 without them colliding. At that time, I called it rowing, since the static mod's movement reminded me of rowing with a kayak. In this trick, there's two moments in which the mods interact, but most of the time the moving pen is only in contact with the hand. Notice how this trick involves quite a lot of wrist rotation, as evidenced by the movement of the static pen. After doing one, the moving pen will be caught in the same starting position, so you can practice its continuous version. There's a harder variation in which the pen isn't caught in 2-3 and the motion continues in a fingerless manner. This variation involves even more wrist rotation. In my Pen Spinning Olympics 2020 combo, I did another variation of this trick, in which the moving mod rolls on the back of the hand to then be caught on 3-4 after a pinky round. A very similar trick can be done with a pen back instead. To do it, first hard hold one mod in 3-4, like this, then soft hold the second mod between the static mod and the palm of your hand, long side out. From there, flick your wrist so the moving mod goes around the static pen, and then catch it in 2-3. From there, you can do a middle index back around. With a bit of practice, you will be able to put the pen back to the starting position and then do this trick continuously. There's a harder variation in which the pen is not caught in 2-3, and the motion continues in a fingerless manner. It was first released on his Pen Spinning Olympics 2022 combo and has become one of his most iconic tricks. While one pen does a pinky back tap to index back around, the other does a pass reverse from 1-2 to 3-4. The first unpaired simultaneous around was released by All Wars in November 2020, a pinky back plus a thumb around. Notice how the pushes are slightly staggered. First, he does the pinky back, and while that's mid-rotation, he does the push for the thumb around. In April 2022, Chris Wea did two staggered thumb rounds. He used this trick as the finisher of his Pen Spinning Olympics 2022 combo. Simultaneous unpaired rounds tend to be very hard tricks, even if the mechanics are simple. I will explain why I think this is the case on the fourth video of this series, the introduction to Chiral to Pen One Hand, but for now I'll say that staggering the pushes seems to make these tricks doable. If the ideal hand or wrist motions for each push, for each round, are not the same, then we can't use them to our advantage if the pushes are simultaneous. If we stagger the pushes, then we have more freedom with, with our hand motions. And this also seems to make the pen trajectories less likely to collide. Well, I hope that you liked this recap. Uh, this video has taken me a lot of time to make because I didn't want to leave any important trick behind, uh, but the information is very diffuse, almost non-existent at times. So 
in any case, if there's any trick that I missed, uh, I, I will probably put it on the comments, on the pinned comments. And if I made any mistake, uh, that will be the same. So please check the description. You have the links to all of the original videos there. And then also check the pinned comment in case that I, I made any corrections. And yeah, please uh, follow me on my socials. I will keep you updated there for the new videos of this series. And if you make any trick of this video or you make any new trick, please uh, mention me there. I will, I will love to see that. And yeah, who knows, you may be in the next video of this series. Yeah, bye.